dipshit to check. <clears throat> um, one, why do people speak? I'm a goddess. I know the answer. Um, why did we give you words? One, why did we give you so many words when you're not useful in any capacity? Why do you need a book of words this big and stores full of words that mean absolutely nothing to you in brandish and marketing? Why do you need to hear words on the radio? Why do you need to see moving pictures and hear words to understand a story and a theory? You're just a moving, useless object if you are living in a society that is broken. So why would God keep you as a moving part if you're not fucking useful in any way? You don't agree when you use words. You don't speak anything intelligent because you can't seem to agree that there's one fucking big old problem. Uh, when did... Um, the Orient and the Mongoloid uh, way of living um, get introduced to New York. I'm just curious because it wasn't here in like 1800. Um, it wasn't here. It was trying to come in, but uh, it didn't have a chigger hold yet. Um, and didn't really come in big until you started like making those disgusting building houses, I call them California ranches, um, in like the 1950s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Um, what, why? What disgusting venereal disease and bestiality family decided for all the rest of the 50 states that that was an acceptable new neighbor? Because one person makes that decision without God's approval and without every statesman and without every area agreeing, I'm pretty sure in 1900 and in 1948 when Linda was born, um, they chose not to have a venereal disease child. Uh, they also chose not to participate in bestiality uh, or like promote it in any way. So why is there so much bestiality and venereal disease everywhere I go? in United States of America. For those of you that don't want to see yourself and your children go extinct within the next 30 days. I'm just curious. What's your human answer on that? Because I'm a goddess and I'm tired of fucking waiting on you assholes to get your shit together.